As we move deeper into summer, the yearly algae bloom is reaching its peak in the western Lake Erie Basin, coming in at a 5 out of 10 for severity. But that rating only looks at the size of the bloom. NBC 24's Eric Zernick spoke with the director of the Lake Erie Center to find out how toxic the algae is this year. He joins us live out at the lake. Eric, what'd you learn? Yeah, according to Thomas Bridgman, the director for the Lake Erie Center, he says that the toxicity of this year's algae bloom out on Lake Erie behind me is not that bad. Researchers for the Lake Erie Center have been analyzing this year's algae bloom for the past several weeks. Well, fortunately, the toxicity is not high. There are some years when, for whatever reason that we're still studying, we, the, the bloom becomes very toxic. This year is just maybe average toxicity, maybe less than average. The other good news is the bloom this year is not as thick or slimy like in years past. But it's a very diffuse uh, bloom. The water has a green tint to it, but we don't have that heavy scum that we've seen in, in years past. So there's not as much biomass. A big reason for the lower toxins this year is the relatively dry summer, with just one heavy rain event back in May, which dumped large amounts of phosphorus into the lake. Thus, with the algae not as thick and the toxicity down this year, it is safe to be out in the water. So there's uh, no concern out in the open waters of the lake for, for swimming, recreating. It's uh, fairly low toxins out there now. That said, a bloom could still blow around and invade a beach, so read local reports on the water quality before heading out. Yeah, check with the state health department on their website. Uh, maybe look at satellite photos. You can actually see where the green is congregating. And it can change day by day, depending on which way the wind's blowing, how the water currents are going. Uh, it, the, the beach could be totally clear, or unfortunately, it could be blown up onto a beach. Bridgman says that if the weather continues to stay fairly dry, the bloom should start to dissipate by Labor Day and could be completely gone by the end of September. Reporting along Lake Erie, Eric Zernick, NBC 24 News.